All right, here's the art class for you. Ready? Ta da! Art class alert. Woo, get over to your camera. Get over to your camera. Come on. Da 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 Okay. Here is your art class. All right? Find out everything you can. That's good enough. No, <laughs> hang on. I'm waiting for the phone to stop ringing. Find out everything you can about the difference between the bronze casting of the Shang, S-H-A-N dynasty, S-H-A-N-G dynasty, Shang dynasty, the Zhou dynasty, that's Z-H-O-U, I think is how it would be spelled today, Zhou dynasty, and the Han dynasty, H-A-N, Han dynasty. If you want to include the Wei in six, that's the warring dynasties, warring period. That's a very good period for very interesting things because there's lots of and out of work done there. What you will find is that the Shang bronzes, that's the earliest recorded bronze, historical bronze in China, it duplicates exactly the terracotta. They don't go beyond the terracotta in bronze. It isn't until the Zhou dynasty, about the middle of the Zhou dynasty, that somebody woke up and went, wait a minute, bronze is a whole hell of a lot stronger than terracotta. Why don't we pull this out a little bit and, 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 and give it a little less fat, you know? Just, uh, just put it a little bit more dainty kind of thing. Yeah, that worked. And then by the Han Dynasty, they're going, wee, woo, yeah, just kind of dainty stuff, but also these very, very wonderful, um, not over elaborate either, because that's the Ming Dynasty. You don't want to go there. But there's some very elaborate extrusion kind of things, things that happen because it is bronze as opposed to it being a bronze imitation of terracotta. Keep in mind, terracotta was around 30,000 years, and bronze was around intermittently 40,000 years BC to about 8,000 BC, more or less. But the, the big disaster, the big catastrophe was at 12,000 BC. Most of the stuff was lost then. That's all going to start getting refound as soon as they figure out where the centers of commerce were. They, and they'll get archaeological submarines there. They will start finding bronze. And that bronze will predate any bronze known today. By at least 10,000, in some cases as much as 30,000 years. Predated by 30,000. So, in China, the Shang bronzes are going to be the first bronzes you will encounter, generally speaking. And you're going to be interested all the way through the Han Dynasty, I predict. You will find the Song and Tang dynasties very, very interesting as well, probably, if you like modern art, because <laughs> a lot of modern art is based on the Song, Tang, and Han dynasty uh, animal pieces, for instance. That particular kind of license, that artistic license with distortion effects. They're not distortions, they're called that, though. Um, so and then what I would like you to do is get a little clay or something, anything, or, or, or carve something, a piece of bar of soap, whatever, into a shape that you think, make a shape that you think represents what you learned about bronze casting. 
And this thing can be tiny. In fact, I don't expect it should be more than the size of a large bar of soap. You can make it out of anything. Or draw it or paint it. You can sculpt it, draw it, paint it, carve it. Um, make a 3D model on a graphic uh, interface, on a GUI. Whatever you like, make a model of it in Second Life. Now that's not a bad idea for an art class. Think about that. Make a Shang bronze in Second Life. Let's see you do it. Because I know they are out there. Some people have done it already. You can take a look at what they've done and ask Claude for guidance on how to make that happen. Shang bronzes are amazing. They really are. And I think you'll appreciate them even more than the later bronzes. When I did have a collection of Chinese bronzes, it was all Shang Dynasty. <clears throat> I no longer have that collection. Can't trust any collection out of China now. Nothing. It's all easy to fake because the government is behind the fakery. Too bad. Anyway, I'm going to rattle on here. I've got to get going.